What's up guys and welcome to hashtag kill all zombies, which is an interesting name I guess to use that more Twitter virality, but this is a cool top-down shooter now available on the PlayStation 4 I do have the music turned down quite a bit because it seems to be licensed music And I don't want to be hit with anything sticky on YouTube when I hop in right away because it's really a nice easy to access PlayStation 4 game It's really easy to pick up and play and play a few rounds of it and then be done or to sink two or three hours into it Like I did last night I find it very, very easy just to be able to um, just easily sink a lot of time into it. It was really fun. Now I am um, leveling up. Basically, when it comes to its gameplay, it's not the most original thing in the world. It's a top-down shooter with zombies, and it's um, basically just round-based. You survive all the waves as long as you possibly can until you die. There's no end in sight. And it's overall really fun and really cool. It also has memes in it. <laughs> it's, it's very lighthearted and funny. And you might notice the simplicity, you, you know, most of the things around me are just hexagonal tiles, and you you can't actually run out of it. See, it's like it's a confined area like this. Let's shoot this, blah! <laughs> and it's very funny, very cool. And let's uh, get, hmm, this. Here we go, now it's slow-mo. And we get a lot of level ups, as you can see. So, basically, how we move is like any other top-down shooter, left stick to move, right stick to shoot, and then on the bottom left, we have our health, the bottom right, we have our ammo, and then in the middle, of course, in the middle bottom, it shows what gun we have. And then on the top left, we have our score, and our high score, and our level, which if we level up, of course, we can choose more perks. And these perks are pretty cool. Some of them are like this one, where I continuously gain XP throughout the whole level, or the whole game, which is actually a pretty good one. Now it's this timer in the center of the screen goes down, more zombies are gonna start spawning, different things start popping up like these guys. Now, if I get zombies to run into these things, um, they will kill the zombies, but if I run into it, it'll instantly kill me, so that's bad. So let's take more of these guys out. Now when you start out, you get to choose one gun, and, if, and at the start, you only have one gun to choose from. The more you play, the more guns you unlock, and that's sort of where the game sort of gets confusing. This is a learn-as-you-go game. You sort of, the only way you learn how to play it is by playing it. It never teaches you really, it teaches you close to nothing on how to play. So, when it comes to learning how to unlock the guns, it's sort of just a happy accident. All the guns that I've unlocked, I have no idea what I did to unlock them. It hasn't told me. But, um, the, ga the guns I did unlock are actually pretty cool so far. I know there are certain ways to get different guns that I haven't unlocked, but I don't know how to, like, permanently unlock them. It's sort of hard to explain. Let's uh, try to get rid of these guys. If I explode that van, it'll explode, and of course, <laughs> it'll kill a few zombies, and also I'll get some health for it. Looks like this, this looks like the end of my life here. When I'm in a 60 situation like that, I can try to melee, but at that point, I'm probably digging my own grave. I try to fight out of it as well as I can, but usually it's pretty difficult. Let's just start here. And like, here's my choice of guns right now. Before, it was only this pistol, but now I have all these guns. My favorite is this shotgun. I'm always a shotgun fan. Overall, really, really fun game so far, though. It's simple, easy to play, easy to pick up, and also a really good streaming game if you're into making content. Um, what's, uh... What should we do here? Let's do the reload. I always like doing reload related stuff with my shotgun. It makes it more powerful, more useful. But yeah, now it's sort of, it's not really RPG like, like a lot of these games are. You're not continuously upgrading stats. A lot of these are temporary, like Ice Ice Baby makes things frozen. It's only a temporary, as you can see on the left. And there's a lot of, a lot of the power-ups are temporary. They're not permanent. Let's get another one here. Let's uh, nuke them zombies. Kills everybody on screen. And it's weird, the variety of power-ups. The variety of power-ups is right in the middle. It's not too little, but it's not too much. It could use a bit more variety, but it's not lacking in variety, if that makes sense. It's just, it, it fits that bill known for the word mediocrity, I guess you could say. The power-ups themselves, though, like I said, are cool, they're funny. Kamikaze will blow people up once I die. So it's sort of an extra way to get a bit more points. Then let's take all these guys out. Ba-boom, ba-boom. <laughs> it's fun though, it's addictive too. It's very simple though. There are similar games out on the PS4 already like this. I would say Crimson Land is a good comparison. Graphically, this one has a bit more detail to it though. One thing I like about the graphical detail is that while the game environment is fairly bland, you know, it's mostly just these tiles, things land in to make it a little more diverse. Not only that, but because of the lack of detail, you find yourself paying attention to finer details like the gameplay and the very small graphical details, like how there's very, very sharp anti-annualizing. And there's also, um, 
you know, just the animations themselves are also very good as well. And you, you wouldn't notice that as easily if it was a highly detailed environment. But because the lack of detail in the environment, I'm able to get a, you know, a farther focus. Uh-oh, uh-oh, bad, bad, bad. Ooh, I almost died there. Usually when you get into a group like that, you're just done for, there's nothing you can do. Uh-oh, I'm seeing to be in a pretty sticky situation here. I backed myself up into a corner. You know, like, I feel like the game could benefit from an additive of maps. I sort of get bored playing on the same map over and over again. If we go back to the main menu here, I played about a good two or three hours of the game. The seven you see at the bottom of the screen here is my level. It started out as one, so it hasn't told me what the levels mean or what they unlock me. And that's, that's just sort of the most frustrating thing about hashtag kill all zombies, is the lack of context with literally everything. There, it, nothing is explained ever. And that can be frustrating at times when you're trying to progress through the game. We have a stats page here, which is pretty interesting, but you know, nothing unexpected. Scoreboards and then options where there isn't too much. Anyways, we can go back into the play mode and we see two different modes here. We have defend the flag and co-op ladder. Now these haven't been explained within the confines of the game either. Recently, I've been really tight on my time schedule, so I haven't been able to shoot the developers an email as to why these aren't available, as if I have to unlock them, or if they're not yet available in the game, because the coming soon on the top right of both makes me think that they're not available in the game yet, because I plugged in a second controller to see if Koa Bladder would activate, and it still didn't. So I'm guessing these aren't in the game. Or either that, I have to do something crazy to unlock them. Once I figure out why they aren't unlocked, I'm going to put a little adaptation on the video and probably update the description a bit too. But in the meantime, I have no clue, and further proves my point that this game lacks an extreme amount of context, which if that annoys you, then you might wanna stay away from this game. But besides that, Hashtag Kill All Zombies is a really cool game, actually. I'm thoroughly enjoying it. It's addictive, it's funny, and it's, you know, simple. Easy to pick up, easy to play, easy to enjoy. And that's, you know, that's the beauty of them. Is it the most original game? Is it the only one of its kind? Of course not. But it's one of the gooder ones of its kind. Better, not gooder, sorry. Um, and yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and sharing it with your friends and family. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.